uh, you can see the total uh, drawing the diameters are mentioned and the direct angles are given now we look at uh, how we can define these angles the two angles mentioned here one is 30 degree to horizontal and one is 30 degree to vertical so while calculating the angle first you need to draw a line which is starting from the starting of the angle make a horizontal line which is to the z plus and make another line to the x plus so you have to draw the angle from z plus line to the angle line so now in this case you can see 0 degree is 3 o'clock uh, in the clock this is 90 degree 12 o'clock position 9 o'clock position is 180 degree and 6 o'clock position is 270 degree so the angle goes like this starting from 3 o'clock and then uh, counterclockwise direction and this one now from this line it is uh, 180 minus 30 150 degree So now this is 180 degree 9 o'clock and then this 30 degree 180 minus 30 is 150 degree. Then we look at uh, the same how to calculate the angle for this z plus x plus line and then draw. So this is uh, 12 o'clock position which is 90 degree and this is 30 degree so 90 plus 30 120 degree. And we'll take the same example in ID z plus x plus and then draw the line so this line is 180 degree position that is 9 o'clock position and then plus 30 degree 180 plus 30 210 z plus x plus and then this so this position is 6 o'clock position 270 degree minus 30 degree so 240 degree now this line is the blank information which is going to just help uh, the simulation so here i have uh, mentioned a 65 dia cylinder and uh, my jaw information is uh, 80 mm 60 mm and 80 mm total uh, length of the part and these are uh, the regular cords g0 g54 g90 g18 so my work coordinate system G54, absolute coordinate system and XZ plane for turning. This is the tool number for Siemens, the complete information of the tool. It can be in the form of T1, D1 also. Then limit S equal to 3000, that is the maximum spin to speed limitation when you are uh, using G96 constant cutting speed control and then the this is the finish profile which is using the direct angle method and uh, direct rounding so in Siemens angle is used as ANG command ANG equal to 150 main angle 150 in Pano it will be just a 150 and here you can find the rounding I mean an automatic insertion of radius R and D equal 4 that means 4 mm radius in Fanuc you will find us uh, simply R R4 so first is the jump jump for entry and then straight machining and then automatic rounding then angle with again rounding then straight angle 90 is just a straight command just vertical this is just to show you that uh, where it is uh, simply vertical you can use like this so this will be mainly used uh, when uh, double angle is used so here 
whether you mention angle equal to 90 or not this line will function the same the same thing is true with angle equal to 180 so angle equal to 180 will uh, simply make a straight turning so this also will be used when you have double angle so here this do not really make any sense but just to demonstrate I have used so now we can have a look at the simulation Now we can see this again with uh, single block mode. We'll again see. So let's come here. So this is only for demonstration purpose. I am using it. Otherwise, the tool cannot cut this much. The jump for a moment. First is uh, positioning with the G42. angle angle equal to 150 x50 so now it is in x50 z minus 2.464 so the z uh, coordinate is automatically calculated by the controller the next is uh, z minus 25 and then r and equal to 4 so now it has gone up to z minus 25 Actually, it is even though it is showing as Z minus 25, since there is a round command, so the start point has to be different. So now there is an angle command. Then again, there is a rounding. So these are all automatically calculated. Now straight. Then angle equal to 90. I already mentioned angle equal to 90 means it is a straight go straight. Whether this is there or not, this is going to function the same way. Then again, there is a rounding, straight turning, Z minus 60. Yeah, that's all. Right. 